This was a region which was very badly hit during the COVID-19 crisis. Really, in a way, in France, it all began here. You can probably just about make out behind me a sort of pack of journalists. Well, somewhere inside there is Emmanuel Macron, and he's speaking right now to the general public, as well as doctors and nurses and health staff from a nearby hospital. We just overheard a, a reasonably heated exchange between Emmanuel Macron and a health assistant. The health assistant said it had been just an, a nightmare during the peak of the COVID-19 crisis here in the east of France, and that right now they still badly needed more resources, more staff and more beds. Emmanuel Macron replied, you know, as a president, he has to defend the last five years that he's had in power. And he replied saying that he had and his government had invested 19 billion euros in public hospitals and they had given pay rises to nurses and other health staff. This, the campaign team tell me, is exactly what Emmanuel Macron wants to be doing. After a, a muted campaign ahead of the first round when he didn't make that many visits across France and only held one rally, this is the kind of thing he wants to be doing. He wants to be meeting and greeting French people and trying to persuade them to vote for him and not Marine Le Pen. I just want to add, I spoke to the health assistant who had that heated exchange with Emmanuel Macron just afterwards, and he told me that he voted Eric Zemmour, the far-right candidate in the first round, but he wasn't sure who he's going to vote for in the second round.